Let's talk about how the Arkham Knight came to be. We start this story with Jason Todd seemingly returning home to Arkham Asylum. And it's here we see that Jason is walking through the dark, decrepit catacombs of Arkham Asylum. Jason would eventually find the room that he was tortured in endlessly for two years. And Jason would ask out loud, if Batman's the world's greatest detective, how could he have not known I was right under his nose the whole time? Switching over to the past, we see that Jason Todd is trying to stop the Joker, but he falls right into his trap. Joker would detonate a bomb, fall into the depths below, and use Robin as a body shield to break his fall. But this wasn't the end. Joker had plans for Robin. He would take him to a secret room in Arkham Asylum and start beating on him senselessly. And the more Jason resisted, the more villains Joker would bring in to beat on him senselessly. And it wasn't all just physical torture, it was mental too. Because after six months of Jason's disappearance, Batman found Tim Drake and made him the new Robin. Joker manipulating the situation to make Jason think that Batman stopped caring about him, Jason was more than willing to reveal his identity. After this, Joker would start training Jason Todd to learn how to kill Batman. And one of the first things the Joker did was let loose two villains dressed up as Batman to fight off Jason Todd. And with Jason's raw rage alone, he would kill them both. Months later, the events of Arkham Asylum would occur where Batman would fight off the Joker, and Jason would end up escaping with Deathstroke. A few months after this, during the events of Arkham City, Jason would find Joker and beat on him to a pulp. But Joker would convince Jason that the one he wanted to hurt the most wasn't him, it was Batman. Telling Jason to bear all of the pain that he endured during those two years and to use it to be something greater. A darker knight than Batman could ever be. The Arkham Knight.